the rest of the people had trailers. I drove up in the Marcos, got out my t-shirt and Levi's, kicked the tires, said, I'm ready to go. Uh, as we pulled out on the uh, pre-grid to uh, go racing, I looked around and all the cars were certainly bigger than I was. Most of them had much, much bigger engines than I did. Uh, the car in front of me, one tire would probably make up all four of my tires. And so the green flag started dropping, and in fact, as they start out one at a time, and I said, okay, well, let's go racing. I called up with a Corvette, and anytime you catch somebody, that means you're faster, doesn't even necessarily mean that you can get past them. But for like three laps, I camped out on his door, and he would go through a corner, and he would look over and watch me all the way through the corner to see what I was going to do. So it's sort of a little, like harassment for three laps. Around and around we went, I just stayed there. I just stayed glued on his door. I didn't make any attempt to pass him. I had several possibilities where I could have passed him. I just stayed glued to his door, like, I'm not going away. You can't get away from me. So that was sort of fun. Um, the other thing is you really get to know the, the drivers and the cars, and so you feel comfortable uh, driving with them at speed in very close proximity. It's somewhat mesmerizing watch a car and watching their car bob up and down in relation to your car literally inches away. And it's almost like you're uh, dancing out there. And you can only get close like that if you know the person. Otherwise, you're taking a big risk. The car when I got it was mechanically just worn out. It had 120,000 miles, which is a lot of miles on any British car of that era. And all the pieces were there, but they were just worn out mechanically. And so I started going through rebuilding the car piece by piece. At this point, I've had every single piece of that car off at least once, with the exception of the windshield. I'm very competitive. I am a competitive person by nature. I like to win. Uh, I will, to, to me, to, to race or do any competitive game or sport and not try to win is disrespecting the game or sport. I like passing people. I like beating people. One of the things I like about racing better in the track days is that I can measure my progress. I can say, I beat that person, and I should have. And I beat this other person, and he shouldn't have been able to, I shouldn't have been able to pass him. I like that feeling of accomplishment. Uh, if I had a car that was dead last every time, I probably wouldn't race, because I like racing, I like winning. <laughs> Thank uh -huh.